In this video, we'll talk about renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, which is a hormonal system that regulates blood volume and blood pressure. This particular system can regulate blood pressure, fluid and electrolyte balance, and systemic vascular resistance. It all begins when there is a drop in the glomerular blood pressure. The juxtaglomerular cells secrete a particular protein known as renin. Renin can convert liver-derived angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1. Further, angiotensin 1 gets converted to another active form known as angiotensin 2. And this is with the help of the lung-derived angiotensin-converting enzyme. Now the key player here is the angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 can act on the adrenal gland and it can also act on the blood vessels. So in the adrenal gland, so at the adrenal gland, aldosterone is secreted. Aldosterone can lead to sodium and water re retention and reabsorption in the kidney. And angiotensin 2 can directly act on the blood vessels, on the capillary endothelial cells, which lead to vasoconstriction. All these things increases the blood pressure and try to bring back the pressure homeostasis. Aldosterone increases sodium in the bloodstream. That's why water is also retained. And there is an overall increase in the blood volume, which can restore the decreased pressure. Now, angiotensin II further act on the pituitary gland, which lead to the secretion of antidiuretic hormone. Antidiuretic hormone further helps in water reabsorption and it ultimately retains water and increases the blood volume. So all this system is de dedicated to bring back the pressure into a homeostatic level. So it's a safeguard mechanism in our body. Now let me tell you, there are several problems with this system. If this system is hyperactive, there would be an increase in the blood pressure. So that is why there are many medications which can target molecules in this pathway. First of all, the cl class of inhibitor known as ACE inhibitors inhibit the angiotensin converting enzyme. That would prevent the production of angiotensin 2. Automatically, the vasoconstrictive activity and the sodium and water retention activity would be decreased. Also, there are other inhibitors which inhibits the angiotensin binding to the angiotensin receptor. So these receptor inhibitors further decrease the blood pressure. So many of the medications that are generally prescribed to patients to control blood pressure uses or targets this particular pathway. And from a pharmacological point of view, this pathway is super important for regulating the blood pressure. So overall, the goal of RAS system is to regulate blood pressure homeostasis. So now we understand that renin angiotensin aldosterone system is a tightly regulated system and it needs to be fine tuned. Too much is bad, too little is also bad. So how does this fine tuning works? Angiotensin 2 has a short half life, less than a minute. That means angiotensin 2, which is very potent, gets converted to less potent forms such as angiotensin 3 or angiotensin 4. So this is how a pressure homeostasis is maintained. So I hope this overall was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook or Instagram to get more notes. You can support our channel in super thanks. See you in next video.